To generate the data for our 2012 paper published in development, a collaboration was formed between Professor Cataneo's lab in Milan, Italy, and the Brain Repair Group here at Cardiff University. A primary focus of the Brain Repair Group is to test the in vivo effects of novel cell therapies. So, for example, we look at how safe cells are, how well they integrate, how well they survive, and whether they confer functional efficacy. So it was important for us to collaborate with Professor Cataneo's lab, since the primary focus of her work is to develop these novel cell therapies, particularly for Huntington's disease. It can be quite difficult collaborating across different countries, not only because we need to transfer materials back and forth. So we worked very hard to maintain this partnership. We um, put a lot of focus on constant communication, so via phone, email and we met at conferences whenever possible. Alessia and Marco worked very hard in Milan over the last several years developing these cells. So whilst they were producing them for this particular experiment, I was generating models of Huntington's here at Cardiff University. Alessia then flew over with the cells and had to navigate some quite complicated airline regulations to bring them to me at Cardiff. She stayed until I was ready to transplant and then I was able to carry on the experiment from there. So it can be quite difficult forming these collaborations across different countries, but it's very important not only to get the best scientific results out of the most um, expertise that you have in two particular labs, but also because for a scientist at my career level, it's important to meet other scientists who hopefully I'll be able to collaborate with in the future and carry on this really exciting research.